Matthew chapter 16, verse 13 and 14. When Jesus came to the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say the Son of Man is? They replied, Some says John the Baptist, others says Elijah, and still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. By now Jesus already declared the people who he is and also had been living together with his disciples as one family for a span of time. But when Jesus asked them who he is, except Simon Peter, the other replied, John the Baptist, or Elijah, or Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. Today our main topic is, why Simon Peter called Jesus Lord? Even when Jesus is just starting his mission, where he does not give much introduction about himself publicly, or even Simon himself a fisherman or a layman, it is my prayer and I believe that by watching this video, all of you will get blessing if you watch it prayerfully. Let us read Luke chapter 5. One day, as Jesus was standing by the lake of Chinnisarit, where the Sea of Galilee, with the people crowding round him and listening to the word of God, he saw at the water's edge two boats lifted by the fishermen who were washing their nets. He caught into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, and asked him to put out a little from the shore. Then Jesus sat down and taught the people from the boat. Verse 4, when he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, Put out into deep water and lay down the nets for a catch. Verse 5, Simon answered, Master, we work hard all night and have not caught anything, but because you say so, I will lay down the nets. Simon Peter and his friend work very hard all night, but they have not cut anything. They are now tired and exhausted. Secondly, the best time to catch fish is night time. But this time the day is so bright. But Peter replied to Jesus, Because you say so, I will lay down the nets. What an honor! Peter gave to Jesus that he is so willingly to do what Jesus asked him to do. The question here is, is Peter already knew Jesus before? Or is Peter knew who really Jesus is? Or his daddy? Or status? Verse 6, when they had done so, they catch such a large number of fish that their needs began to break. Verse 7, so they signaled their partners in, in the other boat to come and help them. And they came and filled both boats so full that they began to sink. Verse 8, when Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees and said, Go away from me, Lord. I am a sinful man. Here, Simon Peter called Jesus Lord. Why Simon Peter called Jesus Lord? To understand a better reference and to find out the answer, let me read another Bible verse. Deuteronomy chapter 6 verse 4. Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one, where the Lord alone is our God. Lord means Jehovah or Yahweh. Jehovah or Yahweh is the creator of heaven and earth. He alone is our God who provides all our needs. Let me read some verses from John chapter 1. John chapter 1 verse 23. John replied, In the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of one calling in the desert. Make straight the way for the Lord. Verse 35 and 36, the next day John was to again 
with two of his disciples. When he saw Jesus passing by, he said, Look the Lamb of God. Verse 14, 41, And true, Simon Peter's brother was one of the two who heard what John had said and who had followed Jesus. The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him where he found the Messiah, which translated means Christ. In my previous video, I have given reference and explanation about the Messiah from the Bible. The Jewish people are waiting for the Messiah to come. They study all the Testament about the Messiah. Even if Simon Peter was only a fisherman, yet an honest, faithful, and firm to the Word of God, waiting for the Messiah to come. It would be a great tiding for Simon that his brother Andrew said they found the Messiah. Verse 41 says, The first thing Andrew did was to find his brother Simon and tell him we found the Messiah. But before Andrew followed Jesus, he was so arch to meet his brother about the news, and by which shows that Andrew knew how his brother Simon loved and longed for the word of God, especially about the Messiah. Why? Because we found that if his brother Simon does not enrich it, Andrew will not be so arch to tell his brother about the news. Again, one of the important to be noted that besides it was prophesied about the Messiah in the Old Testament, John the Baptist is the one who came as a witness to testify concerning Christ. John chapter 1 verse 7, he came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all men might believe. Verse 8, he himself was not the light, he came only as a witness to the light. John said in John chapter 1 verse 14, The word became flesh and met his dwelling among us. John said in John chapter 1 verse 27, He is the one who comes after me, the tongues of whose sandals I am not worthy to untie. In verse 29, John said, Look, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. In verse 30, John said, A man who comes after me has surpassed me because he was before me. Simon Peter, as an honest and firm faith to the word of God, he studied all these testimonies in his heart. At last, verse 42, then Andrew brought Simon to meet Jesus. Looking intently at Simon, Jesus said, Your name is Simon, son of Jonah, but you will be called Cephas, which means Peter. The Bible commentator Matthew Henry wrote, John chapter 1, verse 42, Christ called him by his name. When Jesus beheld him, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. It should seem that Peter was utterly a stranger to Christ, and if so, it was a proof of Christ's omniscience that upon the first sight, without any inquiry, he could tell the name of both of him and of his father. He gave safest, his giving him a name and the midst, Christ favor to him. A new name denotes some great dignity. Revelation chapter 2 verse 17, Isaiah chapter 62 verse 2 By this Christ not only wiped off the reproach of his men and obscure parentage but adopted him into his family as one of his own. Matthew Henry also commented those that come to Christ must come with a fixed resolution to be firm and constant to him like a stone solid and steadfast and it is by his Christ that they are so. Now this does no more proof that Peter was the singular or only rock upon which the church is built. So now back to Luke chapter 5 verse 8, when Simon Peter saw this, he fell at Jesus' knees 
and said, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. Simon Peter not only proved that Jesus is the Messiah through the scriptures as well as through your prophet John, but about the first sight, without any inquiry, Jesus knew him and his family. Besides, it was great honor for Peter that Jesus gave him a new name, Cephas. Overall, the impressions of the miraculous Celt met upon Peter was very remarkable. Peter said to Jesus, Go away from me, Lord, I am a sinful man. As a fisherman, as a fisherman, he's not only lowly status, but he thought himself unworthy of the favor of Christ's presence. He was a sinful man before the Holy Lord God. By having firm fight to the word of God, Simon Peter found favor before the Lord Jesus. Like Simon Peter, we must firm faith to the word of God so that we may find favor before the Lord Jesus. Like Simon Peter, we must come to Christ with a fixed resolution of firm and constant to Him, like a stone solid and steadfast. Thank you for watching my video. My next video will be perhaps one of the most important questions in all Christian theology. Is salvation by faith alone or by faith plus works? Am I safe just by believing in Jesus? Do I have to believe in Jesus and do certain things? We will discuss the solution in my next video. So do visit my next video and please subscribe my channel so that you will get notified all my videos. Thank you. May God bless you.